talking to Gage. Gage is out, out to Channelville. And Gage, how's it been there today? Yeah, Dodgy, actually things for the first time since all of this started several days ago, things are looking up. The water really caught my eye in the sense, not that it's going up, it's actually going down. Where we're standing at right now, just a few hours ago, was covered in water. And the best thing right here, I want to zoom in and show you this across the way. This is an underpass under the I-10 East Freeway. You can see those white dash marks across there. Those were painted around 1 o'clock this afternoon. You can see the water here already dropping several feet. That's awesome, right? That's good. However, we're still not out of the woods yet. You're riding shotgun with the Harris County Sheriff's Office. Their airboat taking you places that vehicles still can't go. We were out here earlier and I felt a little bump and we'd gone over the top of a fence. Their mission, keep searching for anyone who needs help. We personally did close to 100 water evacuations. That's 100 people who didn't heed the evacuation warnings or just had enough of living in stilted houses, surrounded by water day and night since Wednesday. There's some people that do and they evacuate and some people are die hard. Sunday though, marking a turning point in their mission. It's come down a lot. We were out here a couple hours ago and the water was up to the windows on that car right there. Relief for the first time in what feels like forever. No one needed rescuing and an even better bit of news. This restaurant on the San Jacinto River was just high enough off the ground to avoid the floodwaters. But let's not forget the dangers that still lurk in the water. And not to mention, this water is contaminated. There's biohazards, petroleum. I wouldn't get in it if I didn't have to. While their focus is now shifting towards cleanup, this flooding, albeit devastating for thousands, couldn't be a better opportunity to get ready for the chance we get the big one this hurricane season. Absolutely, yes, because you can go to training, you can go to planning meetings, but you really learn when you deploy and you're working with multiple agencies. The good news continues tonight. That aerial flood watch has been canceled. It was in effect, get this, for parts of Southeast Texas for 93 hours. That is the longest time since Hurricane Harvey all the way back in 2017. But I do want to note there are some uh, flood warnings that are still in effect for parts of the Trinity and San Jacinto Rivers. I'm in Channel View, Gage Golding, KPRC 2 News. All right, thank you, Gage.